Fort Leonard Wood in the Missouri Ozarks was commissioned as part of the U.S. war effort in the 1940s. During its construction, the roads in the area weren't ideal for Route 66 travelers or the military. Hooker Cut came about because the route was clogged with construction traffic and then later military traffic. The Missouri Highway Department came up with a plan to build a four-lane highway and engineers planned to cut through the Hooker Ridge instead of going around it. This route also bypassed the Devil's Elbow on the original alignment of Route 66. It was the biggest road cut in the country when it was started in late 1941. It's 91 feet from the top of the roadbed where the cut is 86 feet wide. This new alignment cut off about two and a third miles of the original route. The cut itself is only about four tenths of a mile long, but it required blasting, crushing, and moving 280,000 cubic yards of limestone at a cost of about $245,1942, not including paving. All that blasting and crushing produced something like 87,000 tons of aggregate, which was apparently expected to be used to prepare for paving the new road and other road projects. The cut was projected to take six months to complete. That timeline proved to be overly optimistic. Excavating was still going on in August of 1942. Hooker Cut eventually opened in 1945. Shortages of both labor and materials during the war no doubt contributed to the delays.